not far from historic downtown Princess Anne, you'll find the University of Maryland Eastern Shore, or UMES. Historically black college, it's a teaching, research, and doctoral institution, and it's come a long way since opening its doors in 1886. How far? Well, I got a tour of the campus to find out and to see how the university is preparing students for a successful future in more ways than academically. Hans Cooper is the vice president for enrollment management and student experience at this higher education powerhouse with 130 years of rich history. 1890, a significant year for UMES? Significant year for many schools, specifically UMES. Mm -hmm. uh, so in 1890, the second Morrell uh, act was passed, where basically it gave access to uh, about 19 historically black colleges across the country uh, for the intensive purpose to strengthen uh, food and science uh, research mm -hmm. and teaching uh, among certain institutions. So institutions such as University of Maryland Eastern Shore, Virginia State University, Tuskegee, and other historically black colleges. So these schools, it just wasn't just farming that they were learning? No, the whole, the whole part of the 1890s land grant institution was really to help diversify of the program, but really extend with a specific focus around uh, research opportunities among among these types of schools, specifically in the areas of agriculture and, um, and mechanical arts. So things mm -hmm. such as plant and soil research, things such as pesticides, things such as better technologies around local produce and, and, and regional farms and things of that nature. Now, fast forward to today, still have all of that, still have those uh, types of programs, but you have so much more here at UMES. We do. Uh, today, uh, we've grown. We offer roughly over 95 different programs, uh, both across the undergraduate and graduate level. Mm -hmm. uh, we are a doctoral research institution, uh, which means we have uh, graduate and doctoral studies in many of these areas. We have our aviation program. Mm -hmm. uh, we have several engineering programs, as well as agriculture, which we've already discussed, and really some of our great business and technology majors. Outside of science, we have a wealth of liberal arts programs as well that are very unique to the, the institution, such as our uh, construction management program, our PGA approved golf management program, which is the only uh, PGA approved golf program that belongs to any HBCU in the country. We also have an amazing sequential arts uh, program, uh, which, which does everything from uh, comic book uh, and art design to things such as commercial photography. Wow. Uh, so we have a, just a wealth of very unique, distinctive programs uh, to us that really make us uh, what I think a hidden jewel in this area. UMES also offers students opportunities beyond the classroom. And I'm with Anshay Toll. She is an admissions counselor here at UMES. And we're in front of one of the newer buildings here. This is the Engineering and Aviation Science Complex. Anshay, I imagine having state-of-the-art buildings like this makes it easier to draw students to UMES. Yes, um, it truly does because the building actually opened up in 2016. And with me being in the Office of Admissions and Recruitment, that's one of the draws that I talk with students about when I'm on the road, especially being that UMES is the only undergraduate um, university that allows a student to graduate with an undergrad degree with a pilot license. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the great opportunities that students can definitely come to UMES, take advantage of with all the state-of-the-art labs that are here on the campus. We have our eatery called The Shore within that building. We have a full broadcasting studio, Hawk Radio, and those are some of the um, experiences students should take in when they're definitely pursuing their college. And tell me about some of the student leadership programs you have here at UMES? Some of the student leadership programs we have here at UMES is through the um, Office of Campus Life. They have Student Government Association where that allows students to run for different positions in office where they can be a leadership depending on from starting um, in their freshman year going into their senior year. It allows them to learn the politics of campus to be the voice for students. They do professional development. They go to different conferences. They um, kind of integrate with other students from other universities as, as well. So if you're looking to get involved on campus, I definitely encourage students when they come in their first year, take a look at student government because that will set the tone for your whole college experience here. Campus life here, I imagine, is, is pretty exciting as well. Yeah, campus life is a lot of fun. So here on UMES's campus, we have over 70 different organizations. Get involved. There is something here for every student on this campus. If we don't have it, you have the opportunity to create your own club and organization here on campus, as well as academics being number one and most important. Every academics also has different clubs within the major, but the campus experience is everything. And students here have the opportunity to study abroad? 
They do. So we have the Office of International Affairs here. And one thing that I love about UMES in the beginning of the semester, they have a passport club. So students who may come here may not have access to a passport. UMES will provide them with those opportunities. Um, students have studied in Brazil and Africa. At about 1,100 acres, this campus is relatively small but offer students everything they need to not only meet, but overcome the challenges that may lie ahead. UMES has in-state tuition for Maryland students, and it also offers a discounted rate for students residing on the eastern shore of Virginia and all of Delaware. You really enjoyed that visit. I did. That looked like fun.